Hi, I'm Scott from Sales Massage and Body Work here with another quick tip. Today is going to be a little bit different, not a stretch, not an exercise, but more of an explanation of something that we see on a regular basis. It's called upper cross syndrome, it's also called desk worker syndrome, forward head syndrome. I'm going to explain to you why you get it, how we, um, how we work it, and the exercises that we use to counteract it. So, first of all, when you're sitting at a desk, forward facing, looking at a screen, working on a computer. This would be sort of a neutral position. If your arms are bent, this would be sort of a neutral position. This is how we work. We work here, we work forward, we work neck forward. So internally rotate, internal rotation of the shoulders, elevation of the shoulders, forward shoulders, pecs pulling forward, traps pulling up, internal rotators rotating the shoulders. And we're sitting there all day long. We may take breaks, but for hours at a time. Sometimes we're sitting there at the computer. Also, our neck is coming forward. So when your neck comes forward, I'm going to show you a little explanation of, um, of what happens to your suboccipital muscles here. So here's your neck. This is your line of sight. Forward neck, looking down. Your suboccipital muscles here pull back and are continuously fire, firing to get your line of sight up to straight instead of looking down at the ground. If you have headaches and you work at a desk, good possibility that it's from this entire um, situation. So anyway, that's how you get it. These are the muscles that are involved. You got your pecs here, very strong muscles continuously pulling you forward and internally rotating. The muscles underneath here come from the back and to the f they, they connect to the front of the humerus and pull your shoulders forward. Your upper traps, they're pulling your shoulders up. These muscles in the back, they're just getting lazy getting pulled and pulled and asked to let go on a re regular basis. So what we do, we open up this, we open up this, and we strengthen and get these muscles in the back to fire. We have a lot of videos out there on YouTube that um, are doing things like this and pulling down, using bands, not using bands, getting up against the wall, doing wall angels, using the backs of our arms to activate backwards. It really helps. It's a major important part to getting rid of upper cross syndrome. You can't just get rid of the tension in the front. You have to activate the back or it's not going to stick. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful for you and hopefully you can understand what you're seeing in maybe some of your coworkers or friends or family or possibly looking in the mirror every day what you're seeing with yourself. Um, so if you know somebody or if you, uh, if you um, feel like this uh, pertains to you, please let us know. Give us a call here, and if you have any questions, you can actually email me personally, scott at soasbodywork.com. Good luck to you. Let us know if you have any questions.